Today I'll be showing you how to replace the blade on your balls trimmer. So this video was really highly requested in terms of my channel. There's one, there's another, here's some more. So many people wanted me to show them or tell them how to change the blade. So this is how you do it. Currently mine is broken because it makes this noise. It's extremely loud. I was using it in the shower and my mom knocked on the door whilst I was in the shower and was like, what are you doing? What's that noise? And it was just this broken. So it looked like I was doing it wrong. Instead of doing that, you get the top of it here and you push down. There's the front. You get your thumb on it like this and you push down and snap it out of place. So I'll do that. Nice. Mmm, lovely. I should have done that over a sink. Okay, so once you've got the head off, you might want to give it a clean out under the tap. Just make sure it's all looking clean because there's likely going to be some hair in there. So clean it all out before you put the new head on. And I'm going to go clean mine now. So I finished cleaning it out and it is a lot cleaner than it was before. It's pretty much as good as new. I really recommend using that when you're cleaning out. You get that in the box. This is the package you receive when you get another head. So when you open it, you get this. It's like a pencil case. There's not much in the pencil case really, just the head. They're just offering their other products and you can get 50% off with the code VIP balls. So if you want these, you can get 50% off with the VIP balls. There you go. This is the head. The head's in there. It says safe sack blade replacement. And literally that's the head. So you open this up. And as you can see, there is the head. Brand new head. If you can see it well, it's not focusing. There it is. All we have to do is line it up. This is actually easier than you'd think. So there's this little thing, if you can see, there's that little hole there, and there's like a little clamp here. So you line up that with the hole, make it click into that little hole, and then there'll be like a gap at the front where the head goes. So literally all you do is you have to just push it back in and there you go, clicks in as easy as that. And now it's as good as new because I got a new head. As well as loads of people asking me how to change the blade, I get a lot of people asking me if it's safe on the skin. And honestly, this is from my experience, it is most of the time. You just gotta be careful with it. You have to try and do it on the flat like that. So if you don't do it like this, then it increases your chances of getting nicked. So it says you're not gonna nick yourself, but if you're just careless and you just like, just do it really quick or just don't do it carefully, then you will nick yourself and cut yourself. However, the chances aren't very high. If you are, it literally, just be careful. Like I said before, literally go along like this, nice and slowly, nice and carefully, and it's unlikely that you'll cut yourself. And there you go. So that's all you do to replace the head. I thought I'd make another video on the balls trimmer because of how many views my other videos have got. My second one's on like 10,000 views, and my first one's on over 25, I think. So they're doing really well. It was such a highly requested video because people struggle to change it. So I thought I'd make a video helping people. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like. Most importantly, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.